about you guys, but I absolutely love when the players are mic'd up during Major League Baseball games. That's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. I want to talk about what Major League Baseball has been doing in like what feels like the last couple days that I think is such a good idea, such an amazing job. I don't even necessarily know if it's them, but ESPN's been doing it. They've been micing up players live during spring training games, and it has given us some absolutely fantastic moments. And I think that this is something that we should continue to think about, continue to try to do as much as possible, give you my thoughts, give you my explanation, give you my reasoning as to why I like it so much, why I think it'd be successful. Like what Major League Baseball and ESPN, both of them in combination have done the last few days in spring training is something that I think is amazing. And if you've been on Twitter, you've been on Instagram, you've been on any social media platform right now, these clips are going viral. They're all over the place. So I'm going to give you my explanations, my feelings, my reasoning as to why this is such a great idea. Why is this something that baseball needs to continue to do as much as possible? Why it feels like they're actually starting to kind of figure out what works and what doesn't because what they've done the last few days has just been truly awesome as a baseball fan. And I think it'll help bring in new fans as well. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on it. That's the best way to show your support on the channel. Can we get like at least 2,000 likes on this video? That'd be great. Subscribe if you're new and you enjoy the content. If you love baseball, click that sub button, join the team. Like 50% of you ain't subscribed. Click that sub button, you're missing out. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Get in the comment section down below. Tell me, do you like players being mic'd up? Do you think this is a good move for Major League Baseball? Remember, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at GiraffeNeckMark. Links in the description as always. Talking baseball over there. And if you want to buy any tickets to any sporting events, you know, spring training, opening day, whatever it is, head on over to SeatGeek.com. Use the code GIRAFFE. Save yourself $20 off your first purchase. So it feels like in the last week or so, MLB, ESPN, I don't know whose idea it's been, but they've been doing this thing during games in spring training where they're doing like what they're calling all access, where they have players mic'd up for what feels like at least two or three innings. Sometimes you get players going longer. Sometimes they go a little bit shorter, but they've got players who are in the game, in the dugout, out in the outfield, up at the plate. They're mic'd up live during the game. We get to not only see their reactions to what's going on, we get to hear them talk. We get to get a little bit more personality. This is something that baseball has been lacking massively. They haven't been able to market their players, let alone they haven't even really been able to market their stars very much. And something like this has been huge. I mean, I'm just going to go through some posts on Twitter, posts on Instagram, and just show you the sheer volume and how much people are really liking this. Like share with you the stats that are happening here because it's definitely important. And it basically just further shows like, hey, this is what's working. Let's keep doing this. This is how you market the game. This is how you market the players. People love this. So on March 2nd, this was kind of like when the first mic'd up stuff really started happening on ESPN. You had a game between the Cubs and the Angels, and you had Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo mic'd up for a few innings, and they were giving us absolute gold. I'm going to go through some of the tweets that I have because I can give you more specific stats. I can't look at analytics from other people's Twitters, but just know that I'm probably on the smaller scale considering I only have about 18,000 followers on Twitter. Should be more. But just look at the impressions. Look at the interactions. Look at how people are reacting to this kind of content. My tweet reads as this. Chris Chris Bryant being mic'd up during the game is fantastic. Need more of this from MLB. Something so simple, and then I just have the video clip of him being mic'd up during the game from a moment that I really like. That's one of my more liked tweets on my profile at over 3,000 likes, over 450 retweets. You go to the impressions, which basically means how many times someone actually saw this on Twitter. 183,000 impressions. That's a lot considering my following on Twitter. This is something that I don't want to say is going viral because I'm not going viral. But the tweet itself, the content is something that people like to see. The content is going viral. That's what baseball needs. I mean, even go to the original tweet of the actual video, and that has like almost 5,000 likes. The video itself has almost 200,000 views. Even today, which is kind of why I wanted to make the video, the Mets were on ESPN. They had a bunch of different players mic'd up. They had Pete Alonzo, Big Me Pete. He was fantastic. They had Jeff McNeil, J.D. Davis, Dom Smith. They had some guys on the Cardinals mic'd up. And of course, since Pete Alonzo's the GOAT, he dropped an F-bomb live on ESPN. He didn't even think twice about it. And of course, that is going to be a viral clip. That is going to be something that everybody kind of likes. Yes, the F-bomb, it's a bad word. It's a curse word. But he wasn't using it in a bad way. He was just using it as like, eh, this is how I'm talking. I'm hanging out with the boys. And that's the kind of stuff that us fans want to see. That's the kind of stuff that makes these players relatable. Obviously, between the lines, you know that they're some of the best players in the world. They keep it professional. You want to see them play at a high level. But during spring training, during the All-Star game, during these times where it's not necessarily high leverage, high importance games, this is such a good time to let the personalities out, let the players shine, and let them have some fun out on the field so that it's fun for you to watch as a fan. But again, just from like a virality standpoint or how many impressions, how many likes this thing got, I put this tweet out about three hours ago. It's approaching over 800 likes, almost a thousand retweets. And impression wise, is that like 45,000? Again, you go to the original clip from the guy who put it out. He has over 2,000 likes. His tweets are banging. This is stuff that people love to see. I mean, you have some big names on Twitter who are tweeting about this kind of stuff. You had Anthony Rizzo cracking jokes about the Astros and the whole trash can stealing signs. You had JD Davis getting made fun of by Dom Smith today because he was a part of the Astros in 2017. Dom Smith took a 
a little jab at him. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that as a fan, as an outside viewer, honestly, this is what keeps you involved in watching the game, especially something like spring training, which let's be honest, unless you absolutely love baseball, and even if you do absolutely love baseball, you probably stop tuning in once the starters are out. But I found myself today glued to the TV because they still had guys being mic'd up. They were giving interviews. They were having personality. They were talking. It was the seventh inning. Starters were out of the game, and I was still watching a spring training game on ESPN that meant absolutely nothing because I was interested in who they were going to get on the mic next, who was going to say something, who was going to be funny, show off their personality. I can tell you right now, I honestly don't watch spring training games that late. I watch when the starters are in. I watch like the first three or four innings, and then usually after that, I kind of tune out a little bit. It's on in the background. But today, I was glued to the TV, and that means something is working. MLB players being mic'd up, being able to show off their personality is something huge, and that's an untapped market right now that Major League Baseball, ESPN, whoever is broadcasting the game really needs to take a look at because people want to see this kind of content. During the regular season, the guys are so focused, they're so in the game. I don't expect players to be mic'd up during regular season games. I want them to be performing at their best, and if this distracts them from playing at a high level or it takes them out of a play and it ends up costing them something, I don't want that to happen. But I think that there's ways that you can have players essentially mic'd up without really having them mic'd up. One way that's being talked about right now actually has to do with the Mets and Pete Alonso. The Mets broadcast SNY, the Mets, Pete Alonso, they've been in talks, I guess, and Pete Alonso has said that he's agreed to allow a microphone be at first base during the game, essentially be a live hot mic that can be used during the game and they can get insight as to what the conversations are at first base. I think that's absolutely amazing. I think that's such a smart way to do it. You don't want to have these guys carrying mics around and packs and having stuff in their ear during the game. You want them to be focused, but if you can have mics at least close closer to the field so that you can hear a little bit of the interaction. Maybe Freddie Freeman goes over to first base, him and Pete Alonso are talking, just shooting the shit. That's something that I think people would love to hear. And then you're going to get these organic moments where they almost forget what's going on. Maybe a player makes a nice play and you get Pete Alonso going like, oh, that a baby, let's go. That's the kind of stuff that as a fan of baseball, and again, I want to talk about people who maybe aren't as big fans as us watching this video right now, but that's the kind of stuff that will keep people interested. That's the kind of stuff that will help make new fans, that will help make people become fans of teams, become fans of players want to tune in to watch baseball more. For the longest time, Major League Baseball, the content, the games, the players, everything has been guarded so secretly tight. Like, yeah, haven't been able to really get any baseball content anywhere. They're starting to realize and figure out that, hey, people want more content. Let's give them more content. Let's give the people what they want. Let's have the players have a little more personality. Let's have a little bit more fun with the game. Major League Baseball, yes, is still a business. It is still a profession, but it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy yourself. It doesn't mean that the game can't be fun. There's a huge gap right now between the group of people that love baseball and the group of people that are kind of on the fence for baseball. People like us, me making this video, you guys watching me talk about baseball, we are baseball fanatics. They don't have to do much to keep us interested in the game. We're going to love it no matter what, whether it was because we played it or we grew up watching it, or we have some kind of connection that's making it a lifetime sport for us. We're not the guys that they're supposed to be going after. The younger generation, the people who are still trying to figure out whether or not they like baseball. I don't think that this is necessarily the number one answer that's going to make it the most popular sport in the world. There's still a lot to be done there, but I think if you want to help build the popularity back up with baseball, get the younger audience, get maybe the casual fan more interested in your sport, giving players a personality, allowing them to be mic'd up, allowing there to be a little bit of conversation, have some more fun. This is a huge step forward for Major League Baseball, and I hope we don't see this slow down anytime soon. I know for a fact now that when ESPN has spring training games on TV, I'm going to be watching, and I can't say that with games in the past. The reason being, they're going to be players being mic'd up. You're going to have guys who are having fun. You get to hear a little bit of insight from what they're seeing at the plate, what they're thinking about on the field or maybe just some inside jokes with the guys in the clubhouse that's something that i think is awesome to watch and i think the reaction that we've seen on twitter the reaction that we've seen on instagram youtube tiktok whatever social media you want to take a look at the response seems to have been overwhelmingly positive people love what they're seeing and i think that major league baseball espn fox sports whoever it is you need to keep figuring out ways to push the players push their personalities even more because what you've done right now is a great stepping stone i think it's fantastic keep it up but there needs to be a way to figure out how to do this more consistently how to have it be in the regular season without interfering with the actual game because yes talking into the ear that can take up a lot during a regular season game you don't want that but maybe something like having the mic close to first base maybe having a mic close to third base out in the outfield there's ways to do this and I think it's super important that Major League Baseball investigates and tries to figure it out because they have definitely found something that's working right now. Let's take it to the next level. Let's make it something that people legitimately tune in for. They're like, oh my goodness, I need to watch this game because so-and-so is going to be mic'd up. I mean, even take a look at the Instagram accounts by Major League Baseball teams, by players, by popular accounts. Cut four, they normally average anywhere from about 50,000 to 70,000 views on a video that they post on Instagram. When there's player interaction, when there's actual personality involved, they're going over 100K every single time. The Major League baseball account view wise when you're talking about players being mic'd up over a million views on their 
their Instagram. Other videos on their channel have been around like 700, 800,000, or I should say page, I guess, for Instagram. It's just clear and obvious what people want, and they want to see more from the players. They want an inside look. They want to get to know their favorite players more, have a personality, be able to distinguish guys apart from each other. By having the players mic'd up, by giving us an inside look, by giving us player-driven content, you are making it way more enjoyable, way more accessible for people to watch. That's what you need to do market the players. I've said this for a long time now. You need to start marketing players, stop marketing teams, market players, and having these guys mic'd up is a huge part of it. I absolutely love it. So I don't want to say that was a rant, but I was definitely going off a little bit because I love what's going on. I want baseball to be such a popular sport. You guys could probably tell that. It's easily my favorite sport. I just want everyone else to love it as much as I do, and I think that this is a great way to do that. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. Do you like players being mic'd up during games? Uh, which I know you do, and if you say no, you're wrong. I'm sorry. I'd love to know what you have to say down in the comment section below. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Let's have a conversation. Come up with the next big idea. Major League Baseball comments on this channel often. Maybe they'll see it and take your idea. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Try to hit like 2,000 likes on this one. As well as subscribing to the channel if you have not yet already. That would help me out a bunch. I'm off to Arizona tomorrow. Getting ready to do some more spring training content. So make sure you're following me on Twitter and Instagram at GiraffeNeckMark. Links in description. We'll be posting so much out there so you don't want to miss out on that. And I'm going to wrap up today's video right there. You guys know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this one as well as this is my most recent upload. So click through those if you have not yet seen them. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do appreciate you, and I'll catch you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.